Welcome back to Everybody In, addressing systemic racism. When we get to this point where we're, we wanna be effectual, we wanna be effective in what we're doing, it becomes important to challenge how we think about even the way our systems work, right? The, the, the one question I have oftentimes when I'm meeting with, with recruiters or hiring, um, hiring managers is what exactly is the handshake worth? What actually can eye contact tell you about job performance, right? So we have these systems, both culturally and sometimes, you know, we have these checklists that actually don't yield any real concrete benefit to us, but we do them because that's what we've always done, right? And so when we think about this, this, this idea of addressing systemic racism, we're not talking about eliminating processes, but we're talking about asking, what processes do we have in place that no longer work for us or how do we make those processes more effective, right? So, so really looking at the systems by which we operate. And so um, we're, we're gonna pay a little bit of attention to um, um, penguins, uh, peacocks in the land of penguins. And so this is a, a great video. I want you to spend some time kind of uh, looking at that. Uh, and so I'll put the link in in the later part of this presentation. One thing I do want to bring our attention to is this idea of systemic racism. And here are the skills that we, we hope that you've been able to explore or develop during the course of this uh, particular unit, which is uh, discuss and don't blame, right? So when we think about systemic racism, none of us um, were on the committees, were on the action teams that set up this, this thing called systemic racism. However, uh, we, we have to be critical in thinking about um, how it was set up and, and what our responsibility in, in it is, is our responsibility to continue in that or to undermine it so that we can deconstruct it. Uh, also acknowledge a historic lack of recognition of basic humanity, right? So, so a lot of the, the, the systems uh, did not historically recognize all people human in the same types of ways, right? So there was a time when the Irish were not white, right? They became white later on. Um, there were uh, th th these policies that um, did not allow um, Chinese uh, immigration into the United States so they could work here, but they could never be citizens, right? Um, we think about uh, the, uh, the Japanese internment camps. We think about um, the economic system of slavery. Uh, we think about the genocide of American Indians. Um, and what we recognize is that those were policies and systems put in place that did not recognize. I mean, the, 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 they did not recognize basic humanity. And so we have to uh, commit to learning more ourselves. And then um, lastly, in uh, anticipate and rehearse how we address those things, right? So, so when we, we have to start looking for um, ways that we can interject to dismantle or uh, disrupt these systemic uh, racist tendencies, because if we don't, we'll continue those things. Now, and people will say, well, that, that that's un-American. And I would say that, um, that, that it's not. I, I believe that telling the truth about our history, about where we've come from, actually gives us a, found, a firm foundation to move forward collectively, right? And mm -hmm. so we, we can do that um, as we as we continue moving forward. So, so what do we miss when we don't address systemic racism, right? When we don't look at or challenge the, those systems that have historically been the, 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 what, the, the way they've always been, right? And you'll hear people say stuff like that, like we've always done that. But then when you start asking why we've always done that, they, so oftentimes they're confused by that question. Like, you know, I really never thought about that. I don't know why we do that. I, 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 I'm curious, you know, um, and so, we have to recognize that context is constantly changing. And so shouldn't our behavior, shouldn't our systems, shouldn't our institutions change to adapt to the needs that the context is asking? Mm -hmm. Again, being very focused on on uh, outcomes based on goals, right? So so we miss opportunities. And so this, this video, um, you know, uh, Peacock in the Land of, of, of Penguins really talks about how we sometimes miss things. We miss opportunities to, to grow, to change, to be su uh, successful. And so as you're watching this, this film, that this quick uh, 
video, I want you to think about this question. How do we uh, continue to perpetuate systemic racism here at Mayo Clinic? And then uh, what can we do to address um, address systemic racism, right? And so we'd like for you to share your comments either um, online or in the social media posts, uh, or you can send um, emails directly to us. And so lastly is the 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 link for the um for that video um so so if you take your qr code reader and you you scan that you can get access to that particular video and so as you're engaging with that video i really want you to think about the things that we're missing i want you to think about um in, in what ways was systemic uh, racism mm -hmm. played out in that particular context? And then lastly, what can we do to disrupt, dismantle, or reorganize uh, so that we can be most effective to assure that everybody is in? And so my name is Andre Cohen. I wanna say thank you so much for, for your time. Um, and as we, we move towards making sure that everybody is in, we want to uh, say we look forward to seeing who you become. This is Andre Cohen. I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Goodbye.